In this lesson, we're going to talk about the conformations of ethane. If you're new here at Confident Chemistry, welcome. I'm really glad to have you. You can find the notes from today's lesson at my website. Just click the link in the description box for this video. So here's our little ethane molecule. And there are two important conformations of this molecule that we're going to talk about today. The first is the staggered conformation. So that's when all of the hydrogen atoms sort of around the Newman projection, when you view it from this way, are perfectly spaced out. So I'm gonna draw that. So here's our front carbon and our back carbon. So in the staggered conformation, the dihedral angle between all of the CH bonds is 60 degrees. A dihedral angle is the angle between one CH bond on one carbon and another CH bond on the other carbon. So between these two bonds here, and that angle is 60 degrees. We use the Greek symbol theta to represent dihedral angle. The other important conformation of ethane is the eclipsed conformation. So let's draw the eclipsed conformation. So here we have our front carbon with its hydrogens and then our back carbon. In the eclipsed conformation, the dihedral angle between the CH bond and this CH bond is zero degrees. And we can't really draw a zero degree angle because we want to show both substituents, so we just draw them slightly offset like this. But what it looks like in real life is if I turn my substituents so that they line up on this ethane, it looks like this. You can't see the back substituents because they're right behind the front ones. So why do we care about these bond rotations anyway? What's, what's the point of learning about the conformations of ethane? Well, what we really want to know about these conformations is about their stability. And what do I mean when I say stability? When a molecule is more stable, that means it has lower energy. It's not strained in any way. We'd say it's happy and relatively chill. On the other hand, a molecule that is less stable has higher energy. It has some kind of stress or strain going on. And we would just say that it's a less happy molecule. So when it comes to the conformations of ethane, the eclipse conformation is actually less stable than the staggered, and that's due to an effect called torsional strain. So what is torsional strain? So here we have our ethane molecule, and we've got it drawn out in the sawhorse projection here. So let's highlight where those bonding orbitals are on these two carbon-hydrogen bonds here. So torsional strain is repulsion of the electron density in the CH bonds. They don't really like to occupy the same space, but when that dihedral angle is zero, they're kind of shoving a bunch of electron density into the same area, and that is a destabilizing effect that adds energy to the molecule. The molecule does not want to do that. It's not happy about it. And so the eclipse conformation ends up being about 12 kilojoules per mole higher than the staggered conformation. So we can actually plot a graph of energy versus the dihedral angle around an ethane Newman projection. And we can look at the way the energy changes as one of the carbons rotates and we keep the other one fixed. And that's called a full conformational analysis. So let's start here 
in this eclipse confirmation. The two hydrogens on top are the ones that we're gonna look at and I have them highlighted there in blue. And when they're zero degrees, dihedral angle, we know that their energy is higher because of that torsional strain. So then if we rotate the back carbon 60 degrees, we get this staggered conformation and we know that it, its energy drops because it doesn't have that torsional strain anymore. Then we rotate again, another 60 degrees, we get back to an eclipsed conformation. We rotate again, we get back to a staggered. We rotate one more time, we get back to an eclipsed. And then finally, we get back to staggered. And so what happens as you rotate through the eclipse, the staggered, eclipse, staggered, is you see the energy is gonna go up and down and up and down. And so we'll draw a little curve to represent that energy change here. So it starts high, goes low, high, low, high, low. And it would just keep going over and over and over again as you rotate it. But the important thing to note here is that all of the eclipsed forms that we drew are degenerate. So they all three have the same energy and all of the staggered forms are degenerate. So all three of those have the same energy as we rotate it around the circle. Now that's not always the case with every molecule, but it is with ethane. Next, we're gonna move on to larger molecules like butane and see how their energy changes when we look at their conformations. Thanks for studying with me today. If this video was helpful to you, please like and subscribe so that more people can find my organic chemistry tutorials.